We have breached the building. No sign of any staff. Gentlemen, can I help you? Yes, you can. We have a warrant for your arrest. How about you come down so we can handle this the easy way? Now that doesn't sound fun, does it? I want you all to be my special friend, Billy the Rabbit. He'll take care of all your needs. Billy, you have some new friends. Hi there. Ready to get inside my ma- lucky as you're one of the lucky few that we didn't sell as a toy that doesn't mean that won't change though <laughs> always remember I'm always watching you Yo, so easy, dude. I am on my fifth one. Some I'm known as the strongest, to others the bravest and smartest, but I like to consider myself better than all of that. If it wasn't for me, this place would be a mess. <sighs> Where am I? Who are you? Was I expecting guests? Alright, you're the chosen one or something like that. I'll be the judge of that. Go get me a burger from the cafeteria and then we'll see how chosen you truly are.
Hello there and welcome to Fun Factory Kid Zone, where your kid could Well, well, look who it is. Someone has been a naughty child. We never got to finish hide and seek. Looks like I finally found you. Now I just have to get you. Ahoy me laddie boys, you must be the new runners of the daycare. My name is Pirate and I protect this library. I must warn you of the beast that roams these hallways. It seems that you've already met her, the security bot. I remember when she used to be friendly until the rot consumed her. It seems she trapped you from exiting with her webs. To exit, you must find bait scattered throughout this place to put within her feeding web. This will distract her while you try to escape to destroy the web. Good luck, mate. You're certainly going to need it. Peekaboo! I smell you.
for round two of hide and seek. You better hide. Peekaboo, I'm coming to get you. Let's have some fun. Peekaboo! I smell you. Peekaboo! I smell you. Peekaboo! I smell Ahoy laddie! Down here! Quickly now! As long as she smells you, she won't stop hunting you. I'll distract her. Go, escape this horrible place and never come back. Just promise me one thing. Avenge my death. Bring justice to us toys. Farewell, Chosen One. And where is my burger? Unbelievable! You couldn't handle a simple task like that! You failed the king, and for that punishment, I sentence you to fight the undefeated champion in a boxing match to the death! You may side with one faction to help you try to win the fight. However, if you really think a little pathetic child like you can beat the undefeated champion, you're going to be my next snack. In this side of the ring, we have the Trash Hands! Like they're the chosen ones. Pathetic! How about you choose to stop talking? Am I right? In the other side of the ring, we have a man who needs no introduction. The Fear. The Mighty. The Undefeated Lorax! I'm gonna blend you up into a thousand tiny pieces and drink you for breakfast.
can't fail, I can't lose. It'll hurt me if I lose. I need to impress the king. It hurts. Oh gosh, oh gosh, what's happening to me? What's happening to me? I can't feel my hands, I can't feel my hands. <laughs>
It's dinner time! it. I've had enough of you playing around. Get in my belly now. Go away, pesky mutants. Oh, you're not a mutant? You sure sound like one. I'm not opening this door till I gain your trust. The mutants have been growing all cause of that wizard in the lungs. He's spreading the tentacles, which spread the disease. It's a miracle this body is still functioning. If you want me to help you escape, you must help me first. Get rid of that wizard. He blocked the gate to the lungs. You must find and slash all tentacles to open the blockade. Good luck.
I must say, I don't appreciate you going around destroying my tentacles. My name's Gary, and I too was swallowed alive by this pathetic excuse of a body. I used to be a wizard toy made from Fun Factory, designed to expand kids' imagination beyond their capacity. However, when no one wanted me, I was put in the daycare to rot like all the rest of the unwanted toys. Eventually, I fought back, and well, here I am. All the years of the stomach acid made me what I am now, a freak. And now, I'm going to take this body over and rule the daycare. I'm not going to let you get in my way. for years trying to prevent it from breaking and you you just opened it I want a double cheeseburger from a cafeteria no pickles actually make sure there is exactly one pickle two tomatoes lettuce cheese make sure the patties are medium rare if it's rare I'll send it back if the pickles are on the side I send it back if the <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> what? <laughs> All right, kids, we've arrived. Who's ready to see Mickey Mouse? First, we're going to have lunch, and then we'll be on our way. Alright kids, we've arrived. It's time to hunt some ghosts. Remember what we practiced. Point the vacuum, and suck the ghost in. Remember to- Oh gosh, help! Would you look at that? We got another one! This one looks normal. <laughs> yes. 
Normal indeed. What's happening? Wh where am I? <laughs> you broke free from the loop, bus driver 103. We were all a part of a field trip. Most just drove the bus, but I, I was the villain. I had three chapters out. People loved me. I remember seeing my face on the front page. Then, one day, it all vanished. My chapters were gone. It's like they never even existed. Thousands of active players switched to zero, and soon I was forgotten. I had an army who was ready to conquer the world. I had a throne, a storyline. Then one day, it all just vanished. I'm no bus driver, but all of us in this room had something to do with a field trip. Are you, uh, are you Mickey Mouse? No, I am Ricky Rat. You all should consider yourself lucky. You all broke free from the loop of bringing people to an innocent adventure, but it always turned out to be sinister. Perhaps it was a visit to see a toy factory, to hunt ghosts, to see a circus, maybe to go on a hike, or to see a clubhouse. We were all trapped inside these stories, but now, now we are free. I don't understand. What, what are these field trips for then? That's the mystery, isn't it? Who were we created by? Why are we a part of these stories? Who's behind it all? I think it's time to uncover the truth about these field trips. It's time to make a story of our own.